welcome to another edition of the I Am Therefore I Pad podcast. My name is Carl W. Brooks, and this is your source for iPad news, reviews, and how to do's. Now, today we're going to talk about my best Cydia app for the iPad 4.2.1. So, whether this is your first time jailbreaking your iPad or you previously uh, jailbroken at an earlier version, you need to know which Cydia apps are the best out there, okay? There's tons that work for iPhone and some that work for iPad. Some that used to work and now they don't work. And so which ones are currently working and worth your install? And so this video is going to encompass my best Cydia apps. Multiflow. Multiflow is a uh, application that allows you to uh, see what applications are currently running on your iPad. So when you launch the the application, it represents those applications in cars. Uh, there are some settings that settings that you can change it to other to a, another view, and it's called the expose. Uh, screen so from the settings application you can modify what uh, you can change a few things with multi-flow so here it is here we click that and we see if I can get these two dots off currently I have the a switcher style as cards but I can switch that to expose and when that is switched what happens is it will put all of the open applications on one screen. So the more apps that you have running, the smaller your expose windows are going to get. See there? So I have five. So you can switch that from car view to expose from within the settings app. Okay? And this is different than the built-in uh, icon tray that Apple has supplied with this current version of the OS because these don't necessarily represent what's currently open. This has what's open as well as recently accessed apps. So uh, Multiflow does a better job of showing what is actually running in the background. And we can then close off what we don't want by either swiping them or pressing the red X in the lower left corner to close out those applications. Whichever app that we want to uh, go back to, we simply click on it and it will bring that app back up for us. Okay, again, that's called Multiflow. It's, it's uh, actually a paid application in, in the City of Store and it is uh, $4.99. Uh, so if you like that thing, it might be worth it to you. I, I really do like uh, the application. Unmute. Unmute for iPad is a uh, a feature set that allows you to restore the ability to have the a switch next to the uh, volume rocker to lock and unlock the rotation of the screen. So when you switch it on and off, there is now a little icon indicator. And if I can zoom in up near the, see there? It's a little lock. Yeah, let's zoom on that real screen here. It's getting better. See, there's a lock icon that's there. And if you, when you turn it, on and off the icon disappears. See that? It's actually showing a mute and rotation icon. There we go. So as you switch that switch, so you can lock the rotation with that switch once again. Real simple app. There's no icon for it. It's free. And if that is one of your pet peeves of Apple changing that 
and you want to restore, you can do just that. Um, that is very useful is side delete. Side delete is an application that allows you to delete applications that were downloaded from the Cydia store the same way that you would delete the normal applications. So without Cydia, you would, uh, I'm sorry, without side delete, you would have to open up Cydia, go to your uh, installed applications, and uh, locate one of the applications that you install, hit modify in the upper right corner, and hit remove in order to delete it. Well, with uh, side delete, you just would simply press and hold down on an app, say this one here, and it gives you that X to be able to delete it the same way that you would uh, do for a normal application. Now, notice that the Cydia application does not have an X because you wouldn't want to uh, delete that app and no longer be able to install, uninstall other apps that are not uninstalled through this method. There are some that don't show up as an icon, so obviously you wouldn't be able to delete them that way, and you still have to delete them through Cydia. Again, that's called Side Delete, and it is free in the Cydia store. Multi Icon Mover is a pretty cool mod that allows you to uh, quickly rearrange the icons on your home screens, either one icon or several icons. Uh, it's free and is available in the Cydia store, and it works uh, real simple. Uh, you would press and hold down on any icon until it gets it in the wiggle mode. Once it's in the wiggle mode, you would simply tap the icons that you want to move will move this entire row here. But you can also select icons that are on different screens. We'll pick these first three here at the top of the screen. And we go to the particular screen that we want those icons moved to, press the home button, and those icons will jump to that screen. Okay, as long as you're still in uh, the wiggle mode, you can continue to rearrange either one or many icons, as many as you want. Um, the only thing you have to keep in mind that if, you, if you're trying to move more icons than what is available to fit on any particular screen, it's only going to move the particular icons that will fit on that screen. So I have more icons than selected than that can fit on this screen here, and therefore it's only going to move what was necessary or, or what was able to fit and then left these ones behind that would not fit. Okay, again, it's called Multi-Icon Mover, and it's available for free in the Cydia store.